Hey guys, this is John from Meatristics University, and this is Meat Processing Equipment 303, maximizing the relative humidity in your smoker. A very important but often overlooked factor in any home smoke schedule is going to be relative humidity. Simply put, the relative humidity is the amount of water that's in the air in your smoker. Now, why should you care about this? First, the higher the relative humidity is, the less fluctuation you will have inside your smoker. This is very important with electric smokers, as they often, if you set it to 180, will go up to 200 degrees, turn off, let it go down to about 160 degrees, turn back on, go up to 200. So it's trying to keep you right in the middle there. The higher your relative humidity is, the less it will actually fluctuate. So it's a great way to steady out your smoke cycles. Now, it also can help you get through smoke schedules quicker. This is the same thing that happens when you're out and it's very humid and hot. You feel a lot hotter and you overheat easier. This is because the sweat on your skin can't evaporate off and cool you down. Same exact thing is going on with your sausage, with your pork butter brisket. Moisture is cooked to the surface of the product and then evaporated off. Well, that evaporation energy actually starts lowering or at least fighting against the thermal processing energy of the environment of your smoker. The more humid it is, the harder it is for that to evaporate up off the surface of your product. Because there's already so much water in the air, it's hard to get that water off the surface of the product to evaporate off into the air. Now there's a couple of ways that you can go about increasing the relative humidity in your smoker. The easiest way is simply with a water pan. This is fine, but we're not gonna get much increase in the relative humidity. It is better than nothing. However, it's so little that it might as well be nothing. You can use an oversized pan, and again, this is a little bit better than a regular size pan, but not to a great amount. You're gonna be looking at somewhere between 10 and 15% increase in your relative humidity. That's not a lot. It might sound like a lot, but it really isn't. One of the things we've told you to do in the past is to use automotive sponges, put them down into your oversized water pan. This increases the surface area that evaporation can occur on, and definitely does help. However, the Walton Smoker Soaker Towel is the best way to do it. What we like to do is in our smokers, we take an oversized pan, we put a tray underneath it, a solid tray, put this down into the water and drape it over the edges. Now this is a material that is specifically designed to help wick away water and to evaporate off it. It's designed to keep things cool. So this does a great job in getting moisture up into the air. In fact, we were able to take a relative humidity of just 10% when we started, all the way up to over 40%. Now we use this and we set up basically a psychrometer with our MagTech system. We had one of these with a wet sock over it, sitting down in a thing of water. We then had the other probe just above it. We then took those readings and we were able to get the difference in the temperature because one of them is basically encased in water and that's gonna give us our relative humidity. Now, when we started, it was 198 and 112. That's just a 12% relative humidity. And honestly, a good amount of that might've just been what was in the air that day. Now, our first reading was 181 degrees on the dry bulb and 148 degrees on the wet bulb. This gives us a 39% relative humidity, which is way better than the 10% we were getting when we started. We then let it go for a little bit longer and we had 174 on the dry bulb and 143 on the wet bulb. Now that's a relative humidity of 47%. What we want is for these to be as close as possible. So a 47% relative humidity is awesome for a home smoker. Our final reading that we took was 181 degrees on the dry bulb and 149 degrees on the wet bulb. So again, a 47% relative humidity. So if you're looking for a way to get more moist products and to get through those long smoke cycles a lot quicker, the Walton's humidity towel and a large oversized water pan in your smoker is a great way to do it. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and visit waltons.com and meatjustics.com to find everything but the meat. Thanks for watching. I'm John with Waltons and we'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to Walton's YouTube channel to check out more meat processing videos. Shop waltons.com to find everything but the meat or check out more handpicked videos by clicking here or clicking here.